I, I really felt like, I think I started to really feel this need to express myself on another level when Trump was running for office and I liked him. Yes. And every single person in Hollywood, from my ex-wife to my mother-in-law to my manager at that time to you know my my so-called friends slash handlers around me told me like if i said that i like trump that my career would be over that my life would be over uh key word did y'all hear him handlers so kanye broke free of his handlers is what he's basically he wants you to believe he broke free of his handlers but kim kardashian is still up under her handlers. I want y'all to understand words. Listen to the words. You have a billionaire telling you that when you get to a certain level, you have handlers. The same way I walk my dog is the same way they walk the rich. Rich don't make, black rich don't make decisions. They don't. When you start to study, you realize the higher ups in this world are not even human. They said stuff like people get killed for wearing a hat like that. They threatened my life. They put my life. They basically said that I would be killed uh, for uh, wearing the hat. I had a, a, someone call me last night and said anybody wearing a White Lives Matter shirt is going to be greenlit. And that means that they're going to beat them up if they wear it. And I'm like, you know, okay, green light me then. <laughs> you know? You know, God builds warriors in a different way. I don't know if it's because of me being a born in Atlanta and growing up on the south side of Chicago that, you know, he made me for such a such a time like this. It's like with David, you know, he tended to the sheep, but while he was out there, he had to fight all kinds of animals. So when it was time for Goliath. Shut up. Stop playing with me, Kanye. Your wife is an active witch. who walks around with Jackson jackets with, with devil pentagrams on her back. See, I'm not with the military mind, mind games, Kanye, while you having doggy style, tiger style. You doggy style and your wife, she got a jacket with a pentagram. So while you screaming in the name of Jesus, she got the Baphomet on her back. Take the what? And leave the, she got Baphomet coochie. She participates in all the rituals, rituals that made her rich and you rich. You made her rich. I'm not with the, like, first and foremost, let me stop. Let's, let's not play no games, right? I love Trump for one reason, because he speaks his mind. I love racist people. Y'all got me messed up. I can have a good time. Hey, yo, any of you redneck hillbillies out there that want to hang out with Hassan Campbell? And you want to call me a nigga and I can call you and I can sit up there and call you ham hog, turkey neck and all types of rap. I could, if I could, we can insult each other and drink some beers. I won't even snuff you. Let's hang out. Let's get up. If I could call your mama an incest baby and you can sit up there and call my mama a nigga, we're going to laugh together. You know why? Because racist people are the realest people on this earth. I love racist people. Because they don't lie in your face. I want you to tell me I don't really like you, you nigger. I can't stand you, niggers. I want you to tell me that. Don't smile in my face all the while you want to take my place. I don't want a backstabber. You niggas is laying up. I should have cheated. I should have went. You laying up with bitches you cheated on. She hates you. Every time you turn around, especially give her a little liquor. She gonna tell you what she feel about you, what you did to her. You smiling with people that don't like you. I'd rather be a, I, I love racist people because they tell the truth. They want you to know that they don't like you. I don't want to live in a world where people put up a smoke screen. I want you to, I want to know. I want to sit at your table. I want to hear the conversations that you teach your children on how to treat my children. So I could go back home and tell my children that your children don't like my children. We can't be friends. I like the truth. I respect the truth. If a female sit up there and say Hassan Campbell got three and a half inches of hot rod, 
I'm going to tell her, well, at least I was able to put all three and a half inches down your nasty ass throat. Let's get to that. The truth will set you free. You females be lying. And you niggas don't know how to read. Shorty in the bed, you stroking her, stroking her, stroking her. Look at her nipples. While you having sex with her, look at her nipples. If those nipples ain't standing up, nigga, she don't like you. It's boring. You are absolutely watching paint dry. I don't want to live in a world filled with lies. I love racist people because they're going to tell you what they feel about you. I don't want to go in a restaurant where somebody hates my guts and they can't say, why did you come in here? So they so mad, they blow boogers on your mayonnaise sandwich. <laughs> Now you sit up there eating and they sit up there laughing like <laughs> you niggas do you know what you getting yourself into? Yeah. I like racist people. Kanye West want factories for his ego. This ain't about us. This is a rich nigga complaining because he want equal rights with the rep. Tit. Yon. 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 Nigga, you know you can't be on the same level as the gin. You know you playing with the gin, the unseen. Stop playing, Kanye. I like Kanye. Because every once in a while, he gets rebellious. But I'm going to tell you what Kanye messed up after we let him. Let's play a little bit more. A little bit more. Um, he thought because he was a sheep herder that he didn't have the skill set to take down Goliath. And the thing that I have is the position, I have my heart, but the number one thing is we have God on our side. And for the people, even if you don't believe in God, God believes in you. So you made reference to the White Lives Matter t-shirt mm -hmm. which you brought out at Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Why, why did you do that and what did it mean? You know, I did, I do certain things from a feeling. I like, I just, I just channel the energy, it just feels right. It's using you channeled your, you channeled the energy to insult your people. You channeled the energy to insult people that lost their children to the streets. To insult them. You didn't make it clear. See, the, the military mind games, man, that you using to shake the industry up to get what you want. Kanye, go away. If you're not going to play your position the right way, and you're not going to use your money to back your people, but this is just going to be a campaign where the left side of the wing flaps at the same time as the right side of the wing, if that's the game we're going to play, boom, 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 boom. Like, nah, all of us is not falling for that. The same way we're not going to fall for Tamika Mallory and my song, while Hassan Campbell keep bringing up Tamika Mallory and my song because they was handpicked by the Illuminati. Once I see you for what you are, you can't put a wall, a, a wall over my eyes. I see you. You ever watched the first movie, The Predator? When the black brother was in the bushes and he finally seen the predator and he had the binoculars like, I see you. Once I see you, I see you. But instinct, a connection with God and just brilliance. You know, like as if you ask like Tanya Harding how she did the, the triple flip or the triple spin. Yeah. She was in so much practice that when it was time for her to skate in a in a comp in a competitive format, it just happened. Like it happened outside of practice. It happened in the real format, and that's what's happening. It's God is like preparing us for the real, for the real battles, and we are we are in a battle with the media. Like the majority of the media has a, a godless agenda, and the jokes are not working. This whole like, oh yeah, he's crazy, and all these things they don't work because the media has, you know. Nigga, you in a battle with the media. 
We trying to figure out how to get a better paying job. We trying to figure out how to afford rent without sectioning and welfare. We trying to figure out how to make sure we got enough food supply and water supply to last through the months. We trying to figure out how to have pampers. We trying to figure out how to have better schools. Nigga, you at war with the media. Also, watch travesties happen, just even specifically to me. And just watch it and act like it wasn't happening. And they stay quiet about it. Um, what are they? Um, what is, what, what, I want to answer the, the white. Yeah. I, I feel like someone caught what I was saying, the comparison of Tanya Harden about the, the White Lives Matter. You know, my dad is an educated um, ex-Black Panther. And he put a text to me that he said, White Lives Matter, ha, 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 ha. And I said, I thought the shirt was a funny shirt. I thought that. So now this nigga's father was a Black Panther. Was he the FBI agent that, inf that infiltrated them? Or was he the Black Panther? Stop playing with me. He had me wearing it was funny. And I said, Dad, what do you think was funny? He said, just, just a Black man stating the obvious. Oh. Listen. <laughs> And, you know, my dad doesn't listen to rap music and he's like super educated. We, we opened up a water distribution center in the Dominican Republic together. He's like the original Steve Jobs, but he was getting. So you open up. I want you all to pay attention to this shit, right? On how the industry used these niggas. Remember back in the days when Jay-Z started a water well in Africa, but couldn't do shit for people in America because they use rappers of America to go over to other countries because we have a greater influence and act like heroes over there. So now he went somewhere else to start a water company when we've been needing water in America. What's that, Michigan? That had brown water all that time, but he went to another Continent to give them water? Like, come on, man. Puppet. Puppet. I love you, Kanye, but I see through you. The only thing that Kanye, I'll get to that at the end. Wait. I don't want to go too fast. There's so much Kanye shit that I could play for y'all. Fucked every which way with all of his ideas. And he didn't have uh, an endless bank account and he didn't have an Instagram. So all these ideas he had to like take them back and compress them. Like my dad is the most brilliant person that I know. And we actually have a strained relationship because I was taken from him because my mom was an actress, so she was a liberal. And my dad would see certain things and say. Are y'all listening to this? His mom's was an actress and a liberal. His father was Black Panther. This whole nigga right here. It's government. Kanye West is CIA. What y'all can't hear it? Take the what and get your hand out of my pocket. Kanye West is deep cover. Acting like he trying to get Lavi Hoover out. No, he ain't. You know, we should do it this way. We should do it that way. And the people got around my mom and pulled her away.